Mark. The sun's up. G'day, Mark. <laughs> How you going, Peter? This is Mark Dickinson from the. He's got his glasses back on backwards. Gravity Discovery Centre. <laughs> the the Gravity Discovery Centre. And where are we? We're in Jinjin. We're on the Walling Up Plain in Jinjin. Are we? Hmm. Why are we on that? Mate? We're on, on here because it's a beautiful piece of flat land for our <laughs> gravitational wave detector. Oh, right, okay. Einstein had something to do with exactly. it, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. Right, okay. And did he stuff up the universe at the same time? Well, that's arguable. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not here to whinge about it, no, is that's he? that's right. Yeah. Hey, um, look, I came over here with, with a silly idea of being able to make rain. But you guys have already got one here. We have. We've got a what, potential what one. Have, what have we got? This is this is, this is all the way from Carnarvon or something. This is our nine metre dish, kindly donated to us by the SETI group from Golden Grove Orchard. SETI, Search of Terrestrial Intelligence. Yes. It couldn't possibly be. <laughs> There's nobody else here but us. No. This was used as a, as a uh, one of the uh, one of three dishes, I believe. To track the space program during the uh, the moon landings. Right. Okay. Has a long history. Yeah. Hey, um, we had a look at this, and it only turns how far? What's the tilt? It tilts to fifteen degrees. Fifteen degrees. So the pivot points. We'll just walk around it for a minute. I just want to have a look underneath here. We've got some bolts, and that's a central bar, and that's his ram at the moment. At the moment, it's only tilting 15 degrees, and there's a, there'd be a, a sensor for that to say how far it was, and there's a, another module on it missing. But this has got power running up to the centre, right up to that centre unit as well. What I was thinking is why couldn't we make this into a rainmaker and extend the length of the legs here by, oh, what do we need? Probably, Probably a metre? Another metre, yep. If we add a metre, we might as well walk underneath it so you don't hit your head, mm. and we make it, say, the height seven feet. Yep. All right, there's not too many people over seven feet no. that are going to be walking around. Well, the height doesn't really matter. We could have it uh, plenty off the ground, yep. Yep, and this is pivoting through that centre hub. Yep. What I was thinking about is that we just undo the bolts those ones that are on that centre line, right the way across, that'll all balance. We lift the, the, before we do it, we lift the hydraulic ram up and just lift this central bar and block it and chock it. Yep. So it sits up at seven or eight feet. That's right. All right. And it should, it'll reach that easy. Mm. And then we undo the bolts on this one and use that centre pivot and then undo those six bolts at the bottom of the ram and reposition it about on the end of where that box is. Yep. And that would be enough, in my opinion, if that's lifted up and this ram post is lifted up as well. They'll, they'll need to have a metre on it as well. Yeah, that's right. Um, so the brackets are for that lift up. Yep. And then we make up another housing bracket to go over those two pipes in the centre, and they may want a gusset plate, like see where they've got that gusset plate for the for the weight on the central ram? Yep. We may need a gusset plate running from these two points here yeah, across. Right. So we may need to just add another gusset point uh, where, where that zippy tie is yep. across, and that would be enough bracing to lift all of this structure's weight. And because you're lifting it from that fulcrum point, you'll get a lot greater height. That's right. There. So you're in all agreements to that? I am. It's, it's a great and, idea. and the exciting part is that I reckon we could make a hell of a rainmaker out of it. <laughs> As a dual usage. Oh, I'm with you, Pat. What do you reckon? Oh, I'm we, need to dis we need to put it out to the, yeah, we've got the to uh, management discussion. concern. Exactly. And uh, if, if they can... came up with something like that, in agreement with us, yeah. we'd have to be able to do something like that, wouldn't Yeah, you? like I said, if it's got an, an educational component to it, so we, the schools yeah. could uh, come along and uh, make and rain. participate and make rain. <laughs> That's right. I don't know if I want the kids making too much rain every month. <laughs> eh? they'd, they'd probably flood out the school carnival. Yeah, but if it had a dual purpose, if we could uh, use it as our um, radio telescope as well, yeah. with mirrors attached, then um, 
that would be perfectly acceptable. Yeah. Mm. I reckon it's what a what a wonderful idea. Thanks, Mark. Mm. I'm uh, I'm fairly excited by this. Yeah. So, was the trip out here worth it? It was. Huh? was. Look, look at the pair of us, <laughs> Peter Stevens Hatcher. Yeah. Uh, coming up with another brilliant idea, you know. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm not allowed out normally. This will be this will be the the biggest and only rainmaker in in the world. Well, no, there's a couple of others. Is there? But it'd probably it be, be the, the biggest. biggest? Okay. It would be the biggest. Okay. And uh, at nine metres, um, I think we'd probably wet down all of Western Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we'd want to. Look out, would, Australia. Would all of all of Western Australia handle something like <laughs> rain? What would they know what to do with it? <laughs> But uh, you guys could be contracted to do this on a regular basis. Great idea. Because, uh, you know, none of us live forever. But mm. um, an idea and a concept like this is just as silly. And seeing as we've worked out that the technology works, we're probably better off doing it. I think so. We'll have to All right. put, put plans in place. Fantastic. All right, Mark. Well, um, we've got a bit of work to do in front of us. Thanks, Peter. And uh, that's our concept. So today's date's the 22nd. 23rd. Okay. 23rd? Yep. Oh, 23rd. I missed one. Yeah, I think you've... Uh, oh, I must have been travelling all through 23rd. the night. 23rd. 23rd of July, 2015. Wow. All right, the year's getting away on us, guys. You know the routine. On your way. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. No worries, Peter.